Honorable Chairman, Mr. J. S. Man, respected principal, Mr. Ashri Ram, coordinator academics, Mr. Sumesh Chand Mishra, headmistress, Ms. Nidhi Divan, HOD English Department, Ms. Kamini Halda, worthy teachers, and all my dear students. Greetings of the day. I welcome all of you to the Inter House Master 26 Vocabulary Competition 2021. In this competition, we are going to have six rounds, as you can see on your screen. You will be seeing on the screen now very soon. Please change the slide. Yeah. So this is your Inter House Master 26 competition 2021. Let's start with the quiz. First of all, let me repeat the general instructions. We are going to have six rounds in this competition. Each round will have 12 questions. We have three teams, one team from Buddha House, Vyas House and Dhyanan House. Means we have three teams and each team has four members. Thank you. And the four members, let me introduce all of you. All of you with the, these four members from Buddha House, we have Gargi, Arshita, Devanch Thakran, and Samiksha Gar. The Vyasin team comprises of Riyan Man, Chirag Tushir, Neha Bhardwaj, and Girisha Bajaj. And the Aran House team, Nishchit Kumar Rana, Vanshika, Tanishka Chaudhary, and Sam. Hitty ma'am, please. So in this competition, we are going to have six rounds. The first round is pronounce the word round. 10 seconds will be allotted. And remember, it's a non-elimination round. Even if you commit a mistake, you are safe. And this round will fetch you one mark. But from second round, we start with the elimination round. If you commit a mistake, you are out of the contention, right? So the second round is state the meaning round. In this round, I will flash a word on the screen. Dipti ma'am will flash a word on the screen and you have to give the meaning of the word. Okay. Third round, frame a sentence round. In this round, you will get 30 seconds and you have to frame a sentence. Now, number four, round number four, infer the antonym. In this round, you have to give antonym. You will be allotted 10 seconds. Again, it's an elimination round. And it will give you one mark for the correct answer. Number five, unjumble the jumbled round. Means you will get some jumbled words. You have to unjumble and you have to guess the right word. You will get 20 seconds for that. Again, it's an elimination round and one mark for the correct answer. And now the most important round, most important in the sense because it, it gives you three marks. Otherwise, all the rounds are important, but in terms of marks, I'm talking about that. Unknown words round. In this round, you will get unknown words. That means these words will not be from your list of Master 26 words, right? These will be out of that list. And in this uh, round, you will get 45 seconds. It's an, again, it's an elimination round, but you have to follow three steps in this one. First, you have to pronounce the word, then you have to tell the meaning, and then come up with the right sentence, correct sentence. And for each step, you will get one mark each, and all in all, you can get three marks for that. 
Thank you, Deepika. Now, prescribed vocabulary with spelling and meaning given to the students is not the sole basis of the competition. Therefore, new words of the level of the prescribed syllabus will be employed for deciding the winner. That means I, we are not going to ask you the words from your Master 26 list only. We will ask you different words also, like what I said in round number six, unknown words. In case of any doubt, we, we can consult Oxford Dictionary. And the correct sentence for the purpose of this competition will mean such a sentence which sufficiently conveys the idea of the word given. That means you have to make the sentence in such a way that it should justify the meaning of the given word. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, now let's start with the first round. And the first round, we name it as ice breaking session, and it is a non elimination round. So, first question will go to Gargi. Gargi, you have to pronounce the word, and let me tell you the uh, the rule also, the spelling will be flashed on screen and the contestant will pronounce the word only once. And again, you cannot retrace the meaning. You cannot retrace your answer. Thank you. Okay, Garvi, you have to pronounce this word. Quarantine. Absolutely perfect. Correct answer. Next question. Question number two for Ashita. Yes, sir. Question number two. Ashita. Yes, sir. Dilemma. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, this is dilemma, and you can also pronounce it as dilemma. Both are acceptable. Now, question number three goes to Devansh Thakran. Demonstrate. Absolutely perfect. Correct answer. Question number four. Samiksha Gar. Broth. Absolutely perfect. Broth is the correct pronunciation. Right. Next question goes to question number five. Ryan. Yes, sir. Ryan, please pronounce the word. Significance. Significance, correct. Question number six. Chira Tushi. Please pronounce the word flashed on the screen. Phenomenal. Perfect. Question number seven for Neha Bhagwan. Eloquent. Correct. Question number eight for Girisha Bajaj. Entrepreneur. Perfect. Entrepreneur. Very good. Question number nine. Word number nine, actually. Nishik Rana. Discipline. I'm sorry, it's not disciple, it's disciple. So I can't give you marks for that, I'm sorry. Next question, question number 10 goes to Vanshika. Beverage. Correct. Question number 11, word number 11 goes to Tanishka Chaudhary. Fragile. I'm sorry, it's not fragile, it's fragile. Delicate. I'm sorry, you will not get any mark for that. Now, question number 12 goes to Sanvi. Yes, Sanvi.
Keranological. Please come again. Chronological. Correct. Correct pronunciation. So, my dear, thank you very much. This is the end of first round. And at the end of first round, I would like to request respected Tarun sir to update us with the scores. Yeah, after the first round, uh, the scores are like Darren House, two marks, Buddha House, four marks, and Vyas House stands for four marks with four marks. And as it was the non elimination round, so congratulations, all of you are going to the second round. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As sir said, the first round was a non elimination round, so nobody was eliminated there. So everybody advances to the next round, that means second round. So, second round is going to be your state the meaning round. Okay. So, we are going to flash a word. And you have to guess the meaning. So, first word goes to Gargi. Yes, Gargi, what is the meaning of advance? Move forward in a purposeful way. Perfect. Correct answer. Now, second question. Second question goes to Arshita. Panic. What's the meaning of panic? Sir, the meaning of panic is a sudden feeling of fear. A sudden feeling of fear. Perfectly all right. Correct. A sudden feeling of fear that you cannot control and that makes you do things without thinking carefully and you become very nervous. Perfect. Now, next question goes to question number three, Devansh Thakran. Devansh Thakran, your word is confiscate. What's the meaning of the word confiscate? Take or seize someone's property with authority. Perfect. Beautiful answer. To take or seize someone's property with authority. Like when you go to class, if you have a mobile phone and if you're using a mobile phone in the class, what will your teacher do? He will confiscate your mobile phone. Am I right? So never do that. Please. Okay. Now the next word goes to Samiksha. Why to? Vital means important. Perfect. Very good. Important or essential? Now, the next word goes to Rian Ma, word number five. Amendment. Change to a law. Perfect. Correct answer. A change to a law. And now for question number six, that goes to Chirag Tushi. Bogus. Chirag. False, not real, not illegal, not legal. Correct. Correct. False, not real or legal, or you can say fake. Correct. Now, the word number seven goes to Neha Bhatwaj. Word number seven. Congested. What's the meaning of the word congested? Crowded or blocked. Correct. Crowded or blocked. The word number eight goes to Girisha Bajaj. Oddity. 
a person or a thing that is unusual. Please come again. A person or a thing that is unusual. That is unusual. Perfectly all right. Correct. A person or a thing that is unusual or strange. That's why you call him or her or maybe a thing an oddity. And what's the basic word here? Odd. Something which is unusual. Odd means unusual. So oddity. A person or a thing that is unusual in nature. Right. Now the next word goes to Nishche Kumar Rana. Word number nine, warranty. A written promise to repair or replace a purchased article. Correct. A written promise to repair or replace a purchased article if found faulty. Right? Next word. Number 10 goes to one chicken. Underestimate. To think something to be less important than it is really. Correct. Underestimate means to consider something or maybe somebody, something or somebody to be less important than it really is. Suppose if you think that Mr. A or Mr. X is not very knowledgeable and if you talk to him and if you think that he may not have the knowledge like you have and but if someday he tells you something so important that you were not aware of that means you were under, underestimating him you were under, underestimating his knowledge right okay the next word goes to Tanishka Chaudhary, word number 11. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Yeah. A children's game played by tossing a stone into squares drawn on the ground. Perfect. Correct answer. And now the last word of the second round goes to Sanu. Word number 12. Sanmi, this is your word. Yes, sir. A sideways, uh, a sideways aerobatic roll with legs stretched out like spokes of a wheel. Correct answer. Thank you. A sideways acrobatic roll with legs stretched out like spokes of a wheel. You might have seen this uh, activity or this kind of acrobatic skill on annual day. It's a regular feature of annual day. Okay. In the gymnastic activities. Right. So at the end of second round, my dear, let me request my dear colleague, Mr. Tarun, to update us with the latest scores. Tarun, sir. Uh, first of all, congratulations to all of you. Though it was an, elim an elimination round, but uh, you all are advancing you know, to the next round and uh, no penalty. So now the score after the second round is uh, Janan House six marks, Vyas House eight marks, and Buddha House eight marks. Thank you. So a virtual clapping for all of you because you are going neck to neck. Thank you very much. And now let's move on to the round number three. Ittima. Yeah. Say something about me it means in this round you are going to frame a sentence. The spelling will be flashed on the screen and the contestant will frame a sentence within a stipulated time of 30 seconds. I'll give you ample of time, but you need to be quick. The participant is not allowed to reframe or retrace the sentence unless, unless you are asked to do so by me, right? You will not retrace the answer under any situation, under any circumstances. Clear? So the first question goes to Garvey, round number three. Frame a sentence. Garvey, your word is access. Yes, sir. 
the staircase gives access to the top floor. Perfect. Correct answer. Access means the, like we have uh, the sentences here. The staircase gives access to the top floor. He can access every nook and corner of the school. Access means reach. Right? Now the next word goes to Arshita. Word yes, number sir. two. Arshita, this is your word. Question number two. Isolation. The people who have been infected by COVID-19 have been isolated. Perfect. Absolutely right. Thank you. The COVID-19 patients were kept in isolation so as to avoid the spread of this highly infectious disease. So what do you mean by isolation? To keep somebody separate because he or she is suffering from an infectious disease, right? Isolation, this word, you might have heard this word for the last one and a half year, many times. Thank you. And now the next word goes to Devansh Thakran. Elegant, Devansh. Her dress was simple and elegant. Please come again. Her dress was simple and elegant. Correct. Her dress was simple and elegant. Great. And now the next word goes to Samiksha Gurk. Word number four. Arvan. Amisha, please make a sentence with the word urban. Yes, sir. He submitted his proposal for urban development to the city council. Correct. He submitted his proposal for urban development to the city council or you can say to the government. And now the next word, word number five, goes to Rian Man. Transform. India, India has transformed in many ways since 1947. Perfectly all right. Correct. Absolutely perfect. And now the word number six goes to Chirag Tushi. Voluntarily. Chirag. Make a sentence. She voluntarily helped uh, saving the COVID-19 patients. Correct. Absolutely correct. Do you know the meaning of voluntarily? Can you guess the meaning? You know the sentence. Yeah, tell me. Yes, ma'am, willingly. Okay, very good. Perfect. And now the next word goes to Neha Bhardwaj, word number seven, withdraw. My father has gone to his bank to withdraw some money. Absolutely perfect. My father has gone to bank to withdraw some money and give it to me <laughs> as a pocket money. Okay. Now, next word goes to Girisha Bajaj. Girisha Bajaj, baffled. I got baffled in the exam. You got baffled in exam. I doubt I cannot take this uh, sentence. Uh, could you please uh, show me the answer, ma'am? 
she was completely baffled by his strange behavior can somebody be baffled by the question paper deepthi ma'am can we have a discussion on this perfect okay so we have checked with the dictionary we can go with the sentence thank you correct answer right now nishchay kumar rana gets the word number 9 auspicious this is especially auspicious time to launch our new business correct perfect now the word number 10 goes to vanshika black and blue yeah the thief was punished black and blue by the police perfectly perfectly correct black and blue the thief was punished the thief was beaten black and blue by the police black and blue means to beat somebody harshly harshly severely, severely. to beat him so much that he gets black and blue and red signs on his body <laughs> that's why you can say black and blue right <clears throat> now the next word goes to tanishka chaudhry word number 11 boast Sir, so, uh, he is a boast. He is a boast. I'm sorry, I can't take this sentence. Please use it as a verb. I'm giving you one more. You have to use it as a verb. Can you use it as a verb, Tanishka? As a verb. You can try. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, he said that he is the richest person in the town. He was not a idle boast. Correct. Now it is right. So remember, students, you have to. You can't rephrase the meaning, but you have to use it as a as a verb. Suppose it is written as a verb here, boast, right? So when he says he is the richest man in the town, he is not just making an idle boast, right? Okay. The last word goes to Sanmi of this round, round number three. Sanmi. replenish okay sir all creatures need sleep to replenish their energies correct thank you sir okay now in the meanwhile i request samiksha to keep her video stable samiksha samiksha your video is not stable beta samiksha keep it stable you are not visible your yeah right now at the end of third round now i request my dear colleague mr tarun to update us with the latest score at the end of third round and uh, luckily there is no disqualification or no elimination in this round as well am i right sir yeah right. and again congratulate all the participants and the scores are uh, dan house 10 marks vyas house 12 marks And Buddha House twelve marks. Buddha and we are going together in school. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you, sir. Buddha and we are. In fact, all the three teams are going neck to neck, giving each other a tough competition. And it is quite evident from the fact that nobody has been eliminated. Thank you. Now let's move on to round number four. In for the antonym. This time. you have to find you have to give me the antonym of the correct word of the word given to you right we'll flash a word on the screen so this word we have termed it as antonym sorry opposite words 
In this round, you have to infer the antonym. The spelling of the word will be flashed on the screen along with four options. Very good. This time you are going to get four options with one correct response and the contestant will choose the right antonym of the word within a stipulated time of 10 seconds. But one more thing again, you remember the participant is not allowed to rephrase the answer. It's not like, sir, my answer is option A. Then you say, no, 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 B, no, C, no, sorry. Once the answer is given, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, so you have to give the, you have to give, tell me the option also, option A, B or C, and you have to tell me the word also. Please read out, please pronounce the word also. Okay, so the first, Word again goes to Gargi, round number four, in for the antony. Next slide, please. Thank you. Now, the first word for Gargi is feasible. Your options are faulty, impossible, financial, or possible. Impossible. So, correct answer. Gargi gets full marks for that. And now the second word goes to Arshita. Yes, sir. Arshita, you have to infer the meaning of lament. Your options are rejoice, crib, bless, or comment. Sir, uh, the answer is your time sir, is up. It's yes. I'm sorry, Ashita, your time is up. And please show the correct answer. The correct answer is rejoice. Lament means to feel sad. And the opposite is rejoice. Okay. Now the next word goes to Devansh Thakra, word number three. <clears throat> Devansh, what is the antonym of pathetic? Worthless, cheerful, unfortunate, perfectionist. Cheerful. cheerful. Option B, cheerful. Yes, it is correct. So Devansh gets through full marks. And now next word goes to Samiksha Gar, word number four. Crucial. What's the antonym of crucial? Is it relatable, minor, analogous, or major? No, crucial. Opposite of crucial. Sir, opposite of crucial will be minor. Correct. Absolutely correct. Full marks. And now the next word goes to Riyan Man. Word number five. Wispy. The options are thick and strong, B, light and thin, black and blue, or round and shallow. Thick and strong. Correct. Because wispy means light. Feathery. feathery. Light and feathery. So what is the opposite of that? Thick and strong. Perfectly. Perfectly answered. Correct. And now, next word goes to Chirag Tushi. Commemorate. What is the antonym of the word commemorate? Terrorize, dishonor, optimize, or elaborate? Sir, I think so, elaborate. 
your option D, elaborate. I'm sorry, Chirag, it's a wrong answer. The correct answer is dishonor. You commemorate the birthdays of freedom fighters, Shaheed Bhagat Singh, because you give them respect. Right? You recall their memories. You remember them to give them respect. So what is the opposite of that word? Dishonor. To disrespect. So Chirag Prashir, thank you. And now the next word goes to Neha Bhardwaj. Word number seven. Distasteful. What is the opposite word of distasteful? Agreeable. Yes, come again. Speak louder. Option C, agreeable. Absolutely perfect. Option C, agreeable. Now, what is the meaning of distasteful? Do you know? Something which has no taste? No. Distasteful means if, if you talk about a person, means who is very rigid, right? Who is not able to agree on any point, always ready to fight, always ready to go against. So the opposite of that one is agreeable. Thank you. And now the next word goes to Girisha Bajaj. So Neha gave a correct answer. The next word goes to Girisha. Word number eight. Earnest. What is the opposite of earnest? Is it serious, honest, dutiful, or unpassionate? D. Unpassionate. Correct. Correct answer. Please show me the answer. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Unpassionate. Now the next word goes to Nishchay Kumar Rana. Mingle. What is the opposite of mingle? Separate, ponder, combine, or fuse? Sir, A, separate. Correct answer. Mingle means to mix up. And the opposite of mixing up is to get separated, to be separate. Next word goes to one chika, one chika man. Uh, Ma'am, it should be word number 10. I think there is some sequence. Problem. It should be word number 10. Yeah. No, but maybe some yeah. yeah, it is 10 only. Two times nine. One shika. Your word is nerd. What's Sir, it? I think D tedious. D tedious. I'm sorry, one shika. The correct answer is blockhead. Yeah. So no marks for Vanshika. Now the next word goes to Tanishka Chaudhary. Word number 11. Okay, maybe some problem in sequence. Queer. What's the opposite of queer? The classy. B option, classy. I'm sorry. The correct answer is usual. Queer means strange, unusual. So what is the opposite of unusual? Usual. usual. Sorry. Now the next word goes to Sanvi. Steady. What is the opposite of steady? Sluggish, reticent, fluctuating or firm. 
सर आई थिंक द सी ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट फ्लक्चुएटिंग करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट फ्लक्चुएटिंग थैंक यू एंड नाउ दिस इज द एंड ऑफ राउंड नंबर 4 एंड नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड तरुण सर to update us with the latest score tarun sir yeah the scores uh, after the fourth round uh, dan house 12 marks vyas house uh, 15 marks buda house 15 marks now the participants who are moving to the next round are kargi from buda house devansh from buda house Uh, samiksha from the house riyan from vyas house neha from vyas house girisha from vyas house nishchay kumar rana from janand house and sanvi from janand house uh i that means we have four students who have been disqualified yes. harshita sira yes harshita sira Vanshika and Tanishka. Okay. You did a great job. We all clap for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And now let's move on to round number five. And this round we come as words of wonder, right? So what we are going to do in this round is unjumble the jumbled words. right through round number 5 the unjumble the jumbled round means the jumbled spelling of the word will be flashed on the screen and the contestant will rearrange the letters to get the targeted word within a stipulated time so the first word goes to gargi Gargi, you have to guess the word here. What is this word? Please unjumble this word. Gargi, your time is up. So let's see the correct answer. The correct answer is ambush. Now the next word goes to Devansh Thakram. Devansh, please unjumble this word. I'm afraid the one sure time is up and the word is whisper thank you the next jumbled word goes to samiksha samiksha please unjumble this word baffled correct absolutely correct baffled samiksha very right full marks to you and now the next word goes to riyan man riyan please guess the word
Priyan, you have three more seconds now. Thank you. Your time is up, Priyan. And the word is homage. And the next word goes to Neha Bhadwaj. Sneha, please unjumble this word. Massive. Correct. Massive. Beautifully guessed. Massive. Now the next word goes to Girisha Bajaj. Girisha, please guess the word. Lunacy. Perfect. Lunacy. Correct. And now the next jumbled word goes to Nishche Kumar Rana. Nishche, please unjumble this jumbled word. Sir, trivial. Correct. Trivial. Absolutely perfect. And now the next word goes to Sanvi. Uh, sir, can I, uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, can I tell the spelling? Yeah, no, no, you have to pronounce the word and tell. Oh, sir, this is... Your time is up, Peter. And the word is nibble. Arshita, you cannot write anything in the chat box. Arshita, this is a competition. Right. So now this is the end of round number five. And now I request Tarun sir to update us with the latest scores and the name of the students, those who are advancing to the last round, that is sixth round. Okay, uh, now the scores after fifth round, uh, Darren House, 13 marks, Vyas House, 17 marks, and Buddha House, 16 marks. Uh, and the participants who are going to the next round, uh, Samiksha Gurd from Buddha House, Neha Bhardwaj from Vyas House, Girisha Bajaj from Vyas House, and Nishya Kumar Rana from Vyas House. All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And now, after the, after the round number five, we are moving on to round number six that is known as Unknown Words Round. And in this Unknown Words Round, you have to give me the pronunciation, you have to pronounce the word, you have to give its meaning, and you have to come out with a correct sentence. The spelling of an unknown word will be flashed on the screen and the contestant will pronounce the word, give the meaning and frame a sentence within a stipulated time of 45 seconds. So please take care of the time also. And once again, the same rule, the participant is not allowed to retrace any of the three steps unless asked by the quiz master. That's me, right? So are you ready for the last round? Ready? Shall we start? Okay, the first question goes to Samiksha Gurk. Okay, Samiksha, your word is comply. You have to give me the Pronunciation for pronounce the word. Pronunciation comply. Mm, 
मीनिंग ऑफ कंप्लाई इज एक्ट इन अकॉर्डिंग विद विश और कमांड Samiksha, first of all, set your camera. Your camera is moving constantly. Set your camera, otherwise I'll have to disqualify in this way, beta. Set your camera first. Yeah. So the music comes. Samiksha, your voice is not coming, beta. Repeat. Repeat. Repeat the answer. So the meaning of comply is to. Act in accordance with a wish or command. Right sentence. So sentence will be the king ordered his servant to comply him a drink. Correct. But Samiksha, I request you to keep your video still. Keep it steady. Don't move. Don't let the screen move. Fix your camera. Fix your camera, please. Right. Sir, I was moving the screen because, sir, you were not able to hear my voice. Okay, okay, please take care. Right now, now the next word goes to Neha Bhardwaj. Yes, ma'am. Next word goes to Neha Bhardwaj. Disorderly. Disorderly. In a disorderly manner. <laughs> And the sentence is the police scattered. The disorderly crowd in front of the police station. I'm sorry, you need to retrace the pronunciation once again and all the three steps because I'm not able to hear you properly. Listen to you properly. Pronunciation disorderly, yes. meaning in a disorder manner. Sentence: The police scattered the disorderly crowd in front of the police station. Correct. Disorderly meaning out of control and violent, causing trouble in public or untidy, or you can simply say chaotic. So it's a disorderly house with books and papers lying around everywhere. Right? Okay. So. I can give you a different pronunciation of the book also, but you have to pronounce the word correctly. Listen to me carefully. Even if I pronounce the word, it may be a different pronunciation, but you have to come out with the correct pronunciation, right? Yeah. The next word goes to Girisha Bajaj. Pronounce this word. Give me the meaning and sentence. A smell which is nice or good. The perfume had a nice fragrance. Correct. Fragrance means a sweet or pleasant smell. Okay. Your meaning was also right. I adore the delicate fragrance of roses. Correct. Now the next word goes to Nishche Kumar Rana. Nishche, your word is in front of you. Inculcate. To to put something in. Uh, someone's life like habits and manners sentence uh, our teachers always inculcate us in a good way
our teachers always inculcate us in a good way. No, I, I can't take the sentence here. I'm sorry. The first two steps are right. Okay, with this, uh, with this question, I give the honors to Tarun sir to update us with the latest score, sir. And the students, those who are passing to the next round. Thank you. Um, scores after the sixth round, uh, Darren House is standing with 15 marks. Buddha House is with 19 marks. And uh, Vyas House with 23 marks. And the participants who are going to the next round, uh, Samiksha, Gurk from Buddha House, Neha Bhardwaj from Vyas House, Girisha Bajaj from Vyas House, and uh, Nishya Kumar Rana from Vyas House. Thanks. So now, ma'am, can show me the next words? Okay, the next word goes to Samiksha girl. Yes, Samiksha. Pronounce this word. Give me the meaning and the sentence. Samiksha. Epitome. Pronunciation is epitome. Epitome meaning a person or thing that is a perfect example of a particular quality or type. Sentence. Yes. He looks the epitome. Samiksha, could you please come again? I could not listen properly. Pronunciation, epitome, a person or thing that is a perfect example of a Okay, uh, if I take the pronunciation, pronunciation is wrong. Pronunciation, it should be epitome. And uh, I could hear the meaning, meaning was right. Maybe the sentence I could not hear anything. So the first. I could repeat the sentence. Yeah, please, please. She looked the epitome of elegance and good taste. Okay. But because your one step is wrong, pronunciation is wrong. No, so it's a disqualification. The, the correct pronunciation is epitome. Thank you. Now let's move on to the next word, and the next word goes to Neha Bhardwaj. Yes, Neha, your word is in front of you. Pronunciation word meaning the act of blanching and sentence. Uh, they are for the so what? No, no, no. I'm sorry, beta. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I repeat the sentence then? Yes, yes, yes. There followed a barely audible burp. Correct. Burp. Right. So in the meanwhile, let me request Samiksha, Samiksha, please keep your video steady. Samiksha, keep, please take care of your video. Samiksha, thank you. Okay, now the next word goes to Girisha Bajaj. Yes, Girisha.
Julius. Yes, Dirisha, pronounce the word once again. Julius. What's the meaning and the sentence? I'm sorry, Giresha, your time is up now. The pronunciation was also wrong. It's not zealous, it's zealous, right? Full of zeal, full of zeal, enthusiastic and eager. <clears throat> the reporters were too zealous in their attempts to get into the event. Okay, now the next word goes to Nishche Kumar Prana. Boon. Something that is wrong, sentence. Uh, we should never disobey our parents. It's a kind of boon. I'm sorry, all three steps wrong. I'm sorry, Nishchen. Right. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, Nishchen. Okay, my dear students, in the meanwhile, uh, you know, the competition is over, but I can ask you some more questions here. Okay, by the time the result is ready, now some extra questions I will ask you. Right. Now I will ask Neha one more question. Yes, Neha. Neha, what is the meaning of hygiene? H Y G I E N E. Hygiene. Conditions or act of cleanliness. Correct. Can you make a sentence? We should keep our oral hygiene. Okay, you can try. No issues. Yeah. You can take your time, yes. Poor sanitation to our body.
Okay, uh, students, uh, I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, you know, we are getting the results ready. So by the time I can ask you some more words. So the next word goes to Girisha once again. Girisha, rebellion. What is the meaning of rebellion? Okay, can any one of you would like to guess? Sir, can I tell? Sir, Arshita. Yes. Sir, uh, the meaning of rebellion is revolt. Okay, can you make a sentence? Yes, sir, I can make a sentence. There was there was a rebellion in Delhi. Okay, very right, correct. Ma'am, could you please show the meaning? Rebellion. Rebellion means the action of fighting against authority or refusing to accept rules. You know, when people come on streets and they go against some, you know, rules and regulations against the government. So the government has brutally crushed the rebellion, right? This is the correct sentence. You can make other sentences also, right? Deepthi ma'am, could you please flash next word? Yeah, flout. Now, what's the meaning of flout? You can raise your hand. What is the meaning of flout? Anyone who would like to give me the meaning of flout? Okay, Gargi. You can unmute and tell me the meaning. Flout means to uh, disobey a rule or law. Exactly. In sentence? Uh, some, company, some companies mm -hmm. uh, flout the rules and employ children as young as seven. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, my dear students. Thank you very much. And now we have the results ready. And now I request Honorable Kamini ma'am to give this honor to submit to request Sumay sir to announce the result. Kamini ma'am, it's over to you now. Uh, thank you, Dheeraji. It was a great show. All the students really performed well. And uh, always the expectations are higher because it was an in-house affair. Yes, of course, we uh, there are some flaws at times, but then, otherwise it was a great show. And um, uh, congratulations to each you all performed really well. I find Chirag is a little unhappy. Uh, I could make out from his body posture. Uh, I have uh, Mr. Sumesh Chandra Mishra, COA of the Man School. May I humbly request uh, our coordinator academics to please announce the result. I hope the results must have reached to him by this time. Sir, may I humbly request you to please do the honors. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Kami, ma'am. And I was there uh, throughout. Uh, I could see the children, they really performed well. Um, the teachers also, you know, equally worked hard with them. It seems like they really did uh, good homework before taking on with this uh, competition. Um, see, uh, you know, it's, it's the nature of uh, inter-house competition that, you know, the, there has to be one who has to be there winning and the other two should be following. So uh, the result which I have received, I'll go in this way that uh, first I'll declare the inter, I mean, uh, the housewise, you know, results. So any guesses from the kid's Sir. side? So first Vyas house, second Buddha house, and third Dayanand house. Anybody else?
can you know put up some inputs in that neha you can i mean let me know any guesses from your side sir i think the same as her same as her yes sir what about gargi what do you say that is same so that is pre uh, pretty clear to everyone so that's that's going to be the way which the kids have told so uh, it's vyas who scored the first position buddha goes second and dayanand goes third so this is house wise but as far as you know um, master 26 is going to um, you know rent uh, is only for one child so any guesses sir uh, neha bhardwaj so arshita you are so sure sir not so sure but i am guessing still i'll consider your you know statement i'll make neha to announce that she is master 26 from sub junior division congratulations neha and uh, it's not like uh, it's going to be uh, the end many more competitions to come and uh, hopefully uh, we guessing we predicting that suna you will be here with us and we can have it in a physical form but till the time it is not happening we will see you like this in cubicles and keep performing well as you are doing right now uh very well done kids uh, it's one has to win but then you know from uh, i mean once you losing you also learning that yes there were certain follies which i made and i should amend those follies and come back strong next time very well done kids and thanks to the teachers it's a very well organized uh, show um kamni ma'am great work done and the team of yours thank you very much keep doing such good task and uh, thanks a lot thank you so much sumesh sir uh, thank you very much uh, my thanks to uh, nidhi ma'am and uh, sincere thanks to dheera ji tarun ji and uh, deepti ma'am who were behind the show i was just witnessing from here and was noting down the points i understand it's easy to note down the points but then it's uh, note down the flaws but it's difficult to organize the show from there so well done uh, keep up the good work i'm proud of you thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you very much thank you thank you sir i once again extend my heartfelt thanks to Coordinator Academics, Mr. Sumesh Chandra Mishra, Headmistress Ms. Nidhi Ma'am, HOD English, Ms. Kamini, worthy teachers, and all my dear students for participating in this competition. Because you are the backbone of any competition. If the students are not taking part, if they are not performing well, there is no point of organizing any competition. So it all depends on the students' performance. So you make it. you make it uh, a real competition because when you give competition to each other a tough one so it becomes worth watching and worth learning most of all thank you very much thank you all of you and a special thanks to uh, mr tarun ms deepthi for giving their unconditional support thank you sir thank you thank you so much sir and thank congratulations to everyone and meha specially who uh, really did well congratulations there thank you yes deepthi ma'am thank you very much would you like to say a few words from your side please deepthi ma'am um thank you everyone first of all i'd like to uh, appreciate the presence of uh, suresh sir nidhi ma'am kamini ma'am and my uh, dear co-workers dheerat sir and uh, the scorer tarun sir thank you the parents especially who put in their time and effort in preparing their children the teachers who have uh, given so much the knowledge the time the effort and uh, i appreciate neha's performance here especially uh, finally we have uh, successfully conducted the master 26 junior division and i hope the upcoming events would be um, exemplary 
in terms of performance as well as conduction. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Once again, thanks one and all. Have a nice day. Have a wonderful day. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you.